Hello viewers, welcome to Mesology. I am uploading a practice paper of biology for the students of class 8. When you answer these questions given to you, you would move a step forward in your preparation for the final term examination. So without referring the textbook, try to answer the questions. Question number one, you have to name the following. In this question, you are just supposed to supply the answer with the logical sequencing. That is, answer to the part one should come first, followed by part two, three, four and finally part five. Then it is Question number 2, where you have to differentiate between the pairs. In case of differentiation with the point mentioned in the bracket, you are supposed to make a table and in the tabulated form, you got to write it, the differences in points exactly with respect to the point which is mentioned. Like for cerebrum and cerebellum, you only have to differentiate based on its function. So here are five different points on which you have to do it. Question number three is a table where there are ten fill in the blanks. In order to supply the words for those blank spaces, you must copy the table and then put the required terms or words that fit into those numbered places. It is necessary to copy the table for such questions. Then we will move on to the next question on this paper. For each of the blanks or each of the questions that come in front of you, they contain just one mark. So, you can do it accordingly as the question demands. Now, let's look into the next question, question number 4. Question number 4, you got to answer the following with respect to the operation flood. So, if you know what is operation flood, you will be able to give the answers to its aim followed by the architect of this revolution then the alternative name for this revolution and the year in which the government implemented or started it and finally its objective so these are the sub parts for which you have to supply very very short answers and then you can score your precise 5 marks on this question. Next, we will move on to question number 5. So, let us see. Question number 5, you have to give one example for each of the following. You may even supply two examples at least. Of the two, if one is correct, you may score your marks. But generally, only the first option is the scoring point. But it is at the liberty of the teacher if you supply two answers and one of them is correct, that can even be taken for the marking point. So here, there are five subparts in this question. Again, you will have to supply one example against each of the subparts to score your marks. Then we will move on to question number 6. Here also, you got to answer as directed. The first one is about the definition. The second is also a definition of another part of it then you understand by the word appearist 
that you have to mention a single sentence then it comes with the scientific name of the commonest cultured indian b you got to put the scientific name under two heads the generic and specific underlined and the last question in this paper is again name the following usually in this name the following it is mostly in the form of an example one is a kharif crop then it's a rabi crop then it's the name of a root crop then it's a plantation crop and the final one is a non ornamental plant of horticulture crops so just one one answer each would fetch you one one marks against it what you have to be careful against such a practice paper is you are not supposed to devote more than 40 minutes for answering this paper you have to take care that you follow the instructions that i have given to you for answering and that pattern of answering will ensure that you would be obtaining full marks on your paper there is no problem if you make certain mistakes because you have time for your revision work and indeed this test will tell you how much of rigorous revision is still required for you to score high marks a sample answer to this question paper will be uploaded soon stay tuned if you still haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and thank you once again